All right, Pisces, we're going to jump into this. We're going to see if this is truly over. Is this deep love truly, truly over? If you guys need anything, check out that description. Do not forget every like, comment, subscribe, and share will make you eligible for the giveaway. I will give Amazon gift cards, a tarot deck, merch, a personal reading, all of the fun things away at 30,000 subscribers. So however you want to become eligible, if you'll do that, I will greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. Don't forget I have a second channel. It has all signs on it, including Pisces, if you want to check it out. That link's down there. As well as my tarot course and my booking information's down there as well. Cards I use are easily linked, and then you can try Keen out. First 10 minutes, only $1.99 if you want to use that. All right. So how is this person viewing Pisces? This person, how are they viewing Pisces right now? They view you as someone who's maybe in your masculine energy. You're really being very logical about how you're approaching things right now. And you're trying to move forward. They view you as someone who's very independent, very abundant. You're very lavish on your own. You do your thing and you do your thing very well, Pisces. This person views you as a very strong person right now. So even if you're a female, they view you as you being in your masculine energy. You are are not settling. You are not compromising unless you want to. You're being very logical in how you're approaching life right this moment. And at the end of the day, what you're wanting is to be able to move forward, to get to a better way of thinking and being. How else is this person viewing you right this moment? Is this deep love truly over? So they do see you as someone who's very single, but you do single well. You're very abundant. They view you again with strength, someone that's very strong. Someone has the ability to hold their self back. How does this person view you? Is this deep love truly over? They view you as someone who's maybe made the decision that was impossible for them to make. I see an energy here of someone not wanting to maybe bring in a love offer. Someone that really need to self-reflect. And maybe in the process, Pisces, you really needed to transform as a person. I see an energy here of you really being fun, being very passionate, charismatic. But also maybe an energy here where you needed to know your self-worth, know what you deserve, know what you bring to the table. And I do feel that maybe at one time this person could have made you question that by not making a choice when it comes to building some sort of stability or taking a leap on this. For some of you, this is something as simple as not even wanting to build a union with you. But right now, this person sees you as someone who's just really doing their dabbling thing and you're doing it good. They see you as someone who's very stable. You're very grounded. Let's say you have children. You're a hell of a parent. You're a hell of a nurturer, a hell of a provider. This person views you in a really good light, but they also view you as someone that, you know, they don't know everything that you're doing right now. They don't know everything that you're going through. They don't know everything that you're investing in. So they do view you as someone who's a little mysterious to them right now. They view you as someone who, they feel like you're also very calculated in what you share. So that's interesting. Maybe this person feels like they're missing something, missing out on some sort of detail or information. How does this person feel towards you? Interesting. I just heard it's kind of hard to put my finger on it. So maybe for a while, this person didn't even know exactly how they felt towards you. And you tried to give it time, thinking, you know, with time, this is going to be fine. Hmm. Yeah, how they feel towards you. They feel like you were definitely brought into their life for a reason. But they also feel that things are definitely going in your favor right now. They feel like you could be giving attention and maybe even giving your love to other people. This person feels very stressed out and burdened by the fact that maybe you're not holding on to them anymore. They feel, you know, I feel like this person's having a lot of anxiety. And it's an energy here of I want you to be happy. But if you're with somebody else, I kind of hope you're not happy. 
That's the kind of energy with this person. And this person feels very overwhelmed and a little stressed out by the fact that you're not holding on to them as maybe as tightly as you once was. How does this person feel towards you? And I feel like this person, the more that they try to let go of you in this, the more that it does stress them out. The more that it overwhelms them. King of Fire. They could still feel a lot of passion towards you. A sense of spark. Again, a sense of curiosity. Still wanting to offer you something. I'm hearing loud noises. I apologize. So there could have definitely been a distraction or a delay here. Because remember me saying that maybe this person didn't see you for everything that you were? Didn't I say that? I think I did. But this person could have got distracted. Maybe taking for granted that you were going to always hold on to them. Yeah. Okay, so let's go more into what this person's feeling for you. What's this person feeling for you? very conflicted they're feeling very conflicted they feel like other people have your attention how could other people not have your attention hellfire you're the queen of wands this person feels like they want to reach out to you and tell you that they love you and that they care for you but they're also scared that maybe you wouldn't trust or believe their offer when it comes to love because of some sort of ending that happened very interesting. So they're very conflicted. Very conflicted in how they're feeling for you. How else are they feeling? Again, the moon. There's still a lot that they're unsure about even what that they're feeling. They do know that a cycle here has been completed between you two, though. They do know that how things used to be are not how things are now. So the only way I can get information on you, the only way that I can see what you're up to is by spying or asking around. And even then, I'm not getting everything. I f this person feels like that they're missing the fact that you're investing with somebody else. This person is like, you know, you're not holding on to me anymore. And that stresses me out. But I also feel like if you're not holding on to me, who are you holding on to? And I really, I wish you well, but I really hope it don't work out for you. And I feel like it's because they want you. But they see you again in this strong energy of you doing what you need to do to make you happy. And saying, I'm going to move forward. This person could definitely spy on you on the internet. See who you're investing in. See who's liking your stuff. It could be a sense of an addiction for this person. It could make this person get very depressed and overwhelmed. Pisces, that could be you. So if you find yourself looking on someone's Facebook or Instagram or something so much that you can't help but think about it and obsess about it, it's not healthy. Okay, and I do feel like this person is getting to a point where the way that they feel for you is becoming a little unhealthy. How else are they feeling for Pisces? But I feel like it's because it's such a deep connection. They feel like they want to have the strength to come in and heal this. The fucking fool on the bottom. They want to take a leap. They want to maybe do what they haven't done in the past. And that they know that that... You know, it's interesting because they see you moving away. They see you moving forward. But here's the thing. Maybe the decision all along that you had to make that they weren't willing to make was to move forward. And now they're saying, okay, wait a second. Maybe I do want to make this choice. Maybe I do want to come in and have victory with you. Pisces. Okay, hold on a second. What's this person's intentions when they come in? What is this deep love's intentions when they come in? What's this deep love's intentions? Y'all, I don't think this is over. This person can't let this go. What's their intentions? The temperance come out. So they want to balance it, heal it. Five of stinking pinnacles in the reverse. They don't want you to feel left out. They don't want you to feel alone. They don't want you to feel abandoned. They don't want you to feel like this is over. Because here's the thing. You've let go of them. They feel like you've detached. You're done with me. This is over. But what you don't know is that they've been holding on to you. What you don't know is that they ain't let this go. I don't care how they act. I feel like they're the kind of person that pretends that they don't necessarily care, but they're really holding on to you as you've turned your back. And you know, it's interesting because you've turned your back and you've really went in a season of self-reflecting. And maybe that's what's been happening this Virgo season is really getting that clarity and saying, okay, I'm ready now more than ever that what I do not see is for my protection. I'm going towards a new beginning and maybe this person's not meant to be there. And you've walked away. Well, this person's holding on to the bottom of your dress or your pant leg and going, wait, please don't. Please don't do this. Please, please don't leave me. And I feel like it's going to come out of nowhere because you felt like the cycle was completely done. 
But I feel like this person's been lurking in the shadows around you. And I feel like you've been feeling their energy as well. What's this person hiding and keeping to their self? The chariot. See, that's what I'm getting. I feel like this person could want to travel to come see you. They could definitely just want to move this forward. Give this a go. Give this a shot. Try to match your energy and try to actually balance this out and heal this. You know, it's interesting because the energy that you've been having is the energy that they're hiding and keeping to their self. I feel like they too want what you want. They too want to build a stability and move this forward. You guys are matching each other's energies. But they are going back and forth on whether or not they should come in and offer you something. Hold on a second. Why is this person going back and forth? They're unsure when it comes to a message, message. A message of love has to do with an ending. There could have been three people involved. There could have been a third party. You could have left them for someone else. Vice versa, you guys could have broke up and you could have went and dated someone not long after. Or let's say they didn't want to commit to you or they didn't want to give in to this and you went and dated someone as someone else. They could definitely have harsh feelings towards that. That could be something that they're hiding and keeping to their self is that they do think very highly of you and they want to heal this, but they also feel like maybe you made them an option at one point and you made them feel like they weren't good enough. Very interesting. Give me more for what they're hiding and keeping to their self. Yeah, they want a new beginning here, but it does make them have a lot of anxiety and a lot of worrisome energy that comes up. Can we transform this? Have I transformed? Is this going to be the same as it was? Is this going to go right back to the old cycle? The answer to that is no. You both have grown so much that the old cycle is not even a possibility anymore. But there is an energy here of making sure, has it transformed enough to where we can have a healthy connection? Because I do feel like, again, there's an energy here where somebody wasn't willing to make a choice or continue to let a blockage get in the way and the other person said okay you know what this blockage is done I've given you enough time I've given you enough time I've been patient I'm gone and someone really harnessed their masculine energy and said I'm done I'm not chasing I'm not begging I'm not asking anymore this is done this is over and this person no longer knows what you're thinking what you're feeling or any of that and I feel like it really attracts them to you more, but it also makes them question, you know, how did you let go of me it's so easy? Did you? Although I don't feel like you have, I feel like there is an energy here of you having to emotionally detach yourself and not give this person the power of being able to mess with your emotions or make a day be ruined just because you thought of them you know you really had to get a grip on yourself and you, you, the love that you had for this person and I feel like you did move forward but I feel like in that time of still holding on to them in your heart but then thinking you let them go has made things turn and now this person is like okay wait a second now you've let me go I'm stressed the hell out I know you have to be messing with somebody else I know you have to be talking to somebody else how did you let me go so easy or is this really done Okay, what is something Pisces does not see about this deep love? This person's fucking heartbroken. I'm telling you, you guys not being together does shatter them. But I feel like they're the kind of person where they have so much fear that they don't want to give someone the ability to hurt them. And they also don't want someone to see that they have that ability. I feel like this person does want to come in and have some sort of communication with you. And I feel like you could absolutely want to maybe apologize for something that's happened. Somebody here wants to apologize for something that's happened in the past. So let's say you did go date other people or mess with other people if they wouldn't commit or you guys were broke up. I see you saying, you know what, I'm sorry. I didn't see that it made you feel that way or vice versa. I just heard you dodged a bullet though. So something has happened since you two have been separated where you know you've dodged a bullet from things getting a lot worse. And if this connection ever had any potential to be anything worthy and healthy, it had to separate and you move forward. And for you to show this person how strong you were and for this person to really feel the sense of disappointment and missing you. I feel like this person really had to see that they wanted to move forward as well. You can expect to hear the apology. Yeah, you can 
expect to hear the apology that you're wanting to hear. Yeah, there was a sense of detaching here. See, that's what I'm getting. You detached. You seen the truth for what it was. This person was not willing to compromise, so you took a leap of faith, and it worked to your benefit. Now this person's wanting to take a leap of faith towards you. Interesting. So firm boundaries are needed just come in the reverse. So I feel like this could definitely be an energy coming up where boundaries could absolutely drop. At one point, I feel like this person didn't want or couldn't give you what you needed, what you deserved. I feel like there was a very unavailable energy. But I feel like now when this person comes in, they're going to try to show you that you can trust them and that you can drop that boundary that was once needed. I feel like, again, you guys were not on the same page at one point, but I feel like, again, things have transformed. So what's the outcome? This person's going to come in for a reunion. They're going to come in very quickly. A choice that was once unable to be made, they're going to make with a sense of love in their heart. It's going to come out of stinking nowhere, and it could be definitely fueled by passion, by fire. You know, this is an energy here of I'm feeling inspired to do something. This person's going to feel inspired to either say something, do something, go somewhere, and that inspired action is what's going to make this movement forward happen. Um, I feel like, again, this person has a lot of love and emotion for you. But I feel like it could be easier for this person to show that by passion. I feel like it could take time for you guys to move forward. I see a lot of communication, and I see it taking time to move out of a season of, oh, I need these boundaries, I don't trust you, to saying, no, you care for me, I care for you. So that's going to take some time. But is it over? No. What's this person hopes going to happen with Pisces? If anything, it's just now beginning. They're hoping that they can come in and there's going to be nice communication, that you're going to be happy to hear from them, that you're going to be happy to hear what they have to say and say, oh, wow, well, that's awesome because, you know, I've been healing and I'm really excited to hear this from you. I'm seeing this differently. They're really hoping that you'll also have the strength to maybe show the parts of you that have healed, whether it's a way that you're thinking anymore, a communication they're hoping that you guys can move this forward. The chariot has come up here three times. There, there's strong energy here of moving forward together. This person doesn't like being single anymore. And they really don't like you being single and possibly getting attention. And I feel like it disappoints them that it's had to get to this point. But what's going to disappoint me even more is that if what I think to be known true is true, oh, that's going to kill me. What if there really is somebody else sitting on your couch at night? Ooh, I don't like that. And that's what they're thinking about, and that's what they're feeling at this moment. What's this person's fears? Their fear is that you guys are definitely still going to be on different pages. Their fear is that you guys are not going to be able to figure this out. Their fear is that you're going to be very rude, disagreeable, mean, vicious. Their fear is that you're going to have a boundary up. You know, it's like their fear is that you're going to show up to the table as the worst possible version of yourself. And they're scared that all they're going to do is burden their self out. They're scared that they're going to come in and be vulnerable to you and try to show you maybe what you've shown them before. And all you're going to say is, oh, are you making a mockery of me? What the hell do you think this is, a joke? They're scared you're going to take it the wrong way. And I feel like there is a sense here that when this person does want to come in and approach you, there has been denial. There has been a time of detaching. There has been a time of saying, you know, this is deep. This is true. But that doesn't mean that it's time for this in my life. And there's been an energy here of you really showing this person how strong you are and moving forward like you never have before. And you found this, you found yourself and you have found confidence in that. But in the same instance, this person is terrified that with that comes a part of you that can't stand them anymore. And what if I approach you and how you approached me and now I can't live with, you know, the outcome? Very interesting. Okay, next, next energy coming up. What's going to be the next things that are going to be happening? Yeah, something's happening in divine timing. This person's going to come in and offer you some sort of emotional offer of love because they're feeling left out, because they're feeling lack. You know, it's interesting. I feel like this person's going to get to a point where they're going to start losing more sleep because them being by their self, 
them being independent and single is going to make them very unhappy. They're going to get to a point where they're thinking about you guys being together. When they're thinking about, you know, I feel like my justice, what is fair to me is to be with you, is to bring that change and transformation. Have you ever been in love with someone and then you separate from them and you feel like your world's crumbling? Food tastes nasty. Colors look nasty. Everything's nasty. And it's because the person that you love and you care for is not beside you. I mean, it's the same as like if somebody passes. When something like that happens, it affects us a lot more than we know. And I feel like that's what's happened here is that this person maybe didn't want to see this for what it was, didn't want to make a decision, let something be a blockage. And it could have been their mind. It could have been them not wanting to see things clearly. But now there's an energy here planning for the future seeing things differently and this person wants to come in and give an offer come in take control and say hey this is what i want with you i'm telling you this person's going to come in and communicate with you that they're sad and disappointed let's get a sip of what this person's thinking and feeling give us more for this deep love are you stinking kidding me you were the best thing in my life look I feel you leaving me behind. I'm telling you. This person scared you got attention on other people. I wish things could be different. Give me one more. I feel so drawn towards you. Yeah. They want to reach out. They miss you. They feel lonely without you. I lost myself for a little while. That's in that denial. Because they were like, you know what? I need to let you go. We need to let this go. And I feel like they could apologize for that. And say, you know, I'm, re I'm realizing I've hid who I am. I've hid how I feel. I'm hiding a lot over here. And one of the things I lied about is that we don't need to let each other go. There is a lot of sexual tension here. I'm not going to lie. This person's very drawn towards you. They want you and they want you bad. <laughs> yeah, they want to tell you how they feel. I want to tell you how much I miss you. Is what I just heard. So maybe there's an energy here where you told this person how much you miss them. And they've never been the kind of person to say things like that back. But I feel like they're getting to a point where they want to. They want to tell you how they feel. I fantasize about you. I know I made a mistake. I'm telling you. This person was unsure what you really wanted from them in the past. And at that point, they really had it in their mind and in their heart and their soul that they were not coming back, that this was done, this was over. But I feel like you knew, you knew better. You knew better. I'm finally seeing my worth, yet I still feel unworthy of your love. So maybe there's an energy here where this person feels that you're so strong and out of their league that they're a little intimidated by you. And that's why they were willing to let you move on. But again, there's an energy here. Of, I don't want nobody else messing with you, though. Like, uh, psh, nice try. I tried to run from this connection, but my soul craved you. Double whammy, deep love. I'm telling you, this is the kind of connection that no matter how far you run, they're the person, I was about to say, they're the person you can't quit thinking about late at night. That's what's happening here. That's what's happening here. This person could definitely be. <sighs> okay, don't come at me for this. But for some of you, this person had put themselves in situations where they would get caught up with multiple people, messing with them, indulging in them. And they've gotten themselves in a mess a time or two. And it was their way of forgetting you. But each time they did it, they felt bad. They regretted it. Have you ever been with someone in a physical way and then when you're when it's over, you feel regret? You feel a sense of like, ugh, I shouldn't have did that. And you know, maybe in the moment it felt great, good, dandy, but afterwards it's like, well, that sucks. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like even when this person tries to distract themselves from you with other people, it don't last long. It doesn't last long. I didn't realize what I had with you was special. I want you back. And I feel like the parts of this person, if that resonates with you, where this person has tried to go flirt with other people or buy other people drinks, or even, hell, go home with them, this person needed to work on their self. And I feel like it really took them taking a step back and saying, why am I putting myself in connections that don't make me happy? And why am I running from the one that does? 
there's a reason. And until we're, re- we're ready to sit down and say, okay, it's time to see those truths, we won't see them. It doesn't matter who tells us what. And I feel like that's what's happening here is this person is really starting to see or has been saying, I need to work on myself. I've been making bad choices and decisions. And, you know, I can't quit thinking of you. I can't. I can't. And the more I distract myself during the day, the more I think about you at night. Pisces. Okay, so is this over? No, this is not over. It's just stinking beginning. It's just stinking beginning here, y'all. I feel like your meditation is going to bring answers on what you need to do. I feel like there could be somebody or some group of people that's going to help bring you guys together. Yeah, you're going to get a peaceful resolution here. See, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is coming back. This person, there's an, there's an energy here of really getting more information and letting time work in your favor when it comes to this person. Let's see if we can get a time frame. When's this person coming in? When's this person coming in towards Pisces? Okay, seven hours, seven days, seven weeks. We're not saying seven months. This person's going to want to take some sort of leap towards you. I feel like they're really worried about your options and who you have coming towards you. I've been feeling that the whole time. Who do you have coming towards you? Who are you talking to at night? What you got going on? That's what I'm saying. Because you've really been like, okay, put, you, put, put mind over matter. Does this person treat you the way that you want? No, they haven't. Now you're planning for the future and this person's like, okay, wait a second now. What are you doing? What is this person... When is this person coming in? When is this person coming in? When? Are you flip-flopping kidding me? I cannot stand when these cards go back here. Two of swords come out like this. So they definitely got themselves out of that blockage energy. Remember them not wanting to make a choice and seeing that there's not. It's an energy here of there's not a choice to be made. What are you talking about? I don't see a choice to be made. Now they know there's a choice to be made. But you've done made it. And you're so gone at this point. That there's a possibility that you're too far gone. There's a possibility that you won't respond. You won't answer. You've moved. Hell, maybe you've even moved countries. Something could happen within the next two to seven hours, two to seven days, two to seven weeks. I feel like this person is feeling very wounded when it comes to love, but you're making them want to reach out to you. You know that song, Because You Make Me Want to Marry Me? I feel like this person's went from going very, very slow towards you to picking up the pace. It went from this person saying, I'm not moving, I'm not investing in anything unless I fully think it's worth it. And it's like, after some time, this person has started saying, now you're worth the investment. You're that kind of person. But again, they might have still dabbled in other things or did other things that didn't serve them because they still didn't want to make a choice and say, yes, let's do this. There was a deep love. There was a deep connection. But in the same instance, this person was just doing what they felt that they needed to do at the time. This energy has gained momentum. And it's went from a Knight of Pentacles to now a Knight of Cups and an Ace of Cups. So their their thought is love. Their thought is, wow, you know, th this is amazing. This person could definitely be trying to get some sort of information, spying. I feel like for some of you, this person could be trying to see if you're dating someone else. I feel like this person... Yeah, they got a lot of anxiety about something. A lot of worry. Okay, so something could happen within the next two to seven hours, days, or weeks. And it's going to be balanced. It's going to be for this peaceful resolution to happen. For you two to come together. For you to get the conversation that you've been expecting. And the conversation that you deserve. And it's going to complete a cycle. And maybe for some of you, it's that this person really needed to learn that if they want something and they want it, and they want it bad enough, they'll go after it. And that could be a cycle being completed for this person as well. You know, if you love someone and you want them bad enough, you'll go after them. And if not, you'll miss an opportunity. And, and it's just that. It's kind of like when you go to the store and you see that jacket that you love. And it's like the coolest jacket, but you didn't buy it. 
Well, if you come back in a week, guess what? That jacket's going to be gone and you miss the hell out. That's the energy here. So I see it coming back, Pisces. And I see that it is a deep connection. Somebody can have a system in their car. Somebody can have a really good system in their car. A real good base. What do we have for this deep love? Family and friends are an influence. Use your intuition when it comes to this person. Yeah, someone is hiding their feelings. A past person will be coming back. There's definitely an energy here where you deserved better than what you got from the past. I know you're waiting for me to reach out. This person didn't want anything deep in the past. They know that you're waiting for some sort of communication. Again, it's like this person's walking around you and you can feel their energy wanting to come in and chat. You know, like when somebody's staring at you and they want to say something to you and you're like, why are you staring at me? Do you want to say something? Say it. What is it? That's the energy here. I know you want to say something. Just say it. What do you want to say? And this is what I want to say. I want to build a future with you. Whoa. The way you feel make, the way you make me feel scares me. I wanted to keep my options open. Okay, see, now I picked up on that. I told you that. So, I mean, you make me happier than anyone ever has. I also feel like this person didn't want to get into something and regret it. I mean, there has been connections. Tell me if you've been one of those where you start dating someone and then a few months or a few years down the road, you're like, what the hell did I get my ass into? Anybody else done that before? I feel like this person wants to make sure that this is in true, a deep love, true connection. You know what I was always thinking without saying a word? I remember the last time I saw you. I regret I, tr I regret how I treated you. I don't want to see you with anyone else. It would kill me. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Y'all, I've got to stop. Okay. Yeah, I'm telling you. All right, Pisces. Well, be ready. It's coming back. Have a blessed day.